Since we launched Milan at Infocom, uh, we had a great recognition by the industry. Uh, several companies have shown deep interest in Milan, so we have around about half a dozen of new members. Uh, other companies uh, knocking at the door, so to say. And of course, in the background, we have worked a lot on our certification process, which has to be reinvented, so to say. And uh, Milan is generally a topic that will constantly evolve. So we take a broad look into the future of what we're doing here because this is quite a big approach. In the mid-2000s, a bunch of work was done under the IEEE to start defining a list of specifications that would provide tight synchronization of media data across an Ethernet network. And this was done under an IEEE group that became AVB, or Audio Video Bridging. Milan builds upon all of that work in that it pulls it all together into a framework that is guaranteeing the interoperability between implementations of AVB on products. So Milan is ultimately what products will use to communicate with each other. The beauty of Milan is you simply connect devices together, whether they're the same brand or from different manufacturers, they'll just work. You can get back to doing what you want to making your shows look and sound fantastic. Not only do we want to be able to communicate between our system components over networking, our vision is to communicate directly to other third-party devices, such as mixing consoles and, and other devices that are part of the network. In order to also have interoperability with third-party devices, a protocol like AVB is not enough. We need to have an interoperability specification or standard. Milan is such a specification. So when a device from manufacturer A meets a device from manufacturer B, you hook them up, they'll be able to communicate. Proprietary standards tend to evolve at a slower rate. By having a group of people working together in a constant system like the IEEE, we're able to come together on a regular basis, discuss the elements that are working, and continue to evolve our specifications. Milan is an evolution of the AVB standards, giving a more precise way for the devices to interact together. And this precise way that everything is defined and by these continual meetings of these standards groups gives us something that evolves very quickly and meets needs of the marketplace right now. In the Avenue Alliance, it gives us a great framework uh, that uh, competitors can work together, what is not uh, possible outside of the Avenue Alliance. So what we are doing then is uh, we have uh, regularly face-to-face uh, -face meetings where all the developers uh, sit together on a table like uh, here actually at the moment and uh, working out on the technical standards, uh, discussing issues, um, defining solutions uh, to it. Uh, furthermore, um, there are regularly calls, technical calls, having subgroups uh, where we break out uh, technical issues in uh, smaller pieces to find solutions. It's going to work because all the leading manufacturer and pro AV are making Milan together. As we believe at L Acoustics in the open source world, that you mean when you have an open standard, you also need to provide something and make it available to facilitate to other companies the implementations. Um, we decided to give an AFTEC library uh, uh, available to the market. Um, available means it's open source and it's uh, freely to use and to implement. 
um, to give a big, big uh, uh, benefit. Hive is then uh, the open source controller to manage devices on the network. And by managing devices, it means, of course, uh, Milan devices. And it's uh, very important for us that it's uh, open source, that it's available uh, to the community, um, so that not everyone needs to develop things from the scratch. If he has other ideas of a controller or of a controller user interface, he can take this open source what is existing and further develop it and make it available to the community. Next is of course that we will launch products. So we have our first certification mode working and uh, some of the founding members of Milan will uh, launch certified products and ship certified products shortly within this year. Uh, next is also that we will introduce new members to the public so uh, we can clearly show to the industry that Milan is widening its footprint in the industry with more different manufacturers joining, more types of products and so on. The Milan group was a very very proactive group. It's very little politics. It was just a bunch of people that wanted to make this stuff work. And it's been a very, very constructive process. Actually, one of the most constructive processes that I've been involved in. 